Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod, the Tetrarch of, Ju of Galilee, and his brother Philip, Tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Traconictus, and Lys Lysianus was Tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming the baptism of repentance and for, for the forgiveness of sins. As it was written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the, the, wind, the winding roads will be made straight and the rough ways made smooth and the flesh and the flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love the Advent season. It's, it's awesome. It's, a, it's time of preparing for the coming preparing for the coming of Christ. But it's interesting, Christ came 2,000 plus years ago. But we, in our hearts, need to prepare to receive him inside of us, in our hearts, in our minds, that Christ may invade us and modify our behavior, our attitudes, our thoughts. It's kind of nice. I really like it when we start the Mass and we acknowledge that we are sinners in our thoughts, in our words, in what we do and what we fail to do. And acknowledging that is a good first step because we can't change anything that we don't acknowledge. Now, we also are preparing to celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ. We celebrate it on the 25th of December, and we're preparing for that. And that preparation is kind of helping us to see if we're naughty or nice, to see how well we have progressed in our journey towards that new Jerusalem, that we may be ready when the Lord calls us. It's an awesome time of reflection. It's an awesome time of sitting back and thinking in a prayerful way, what have I done? How have I behaved? Am I becoming more and more the person that God wants me to be? Sometimes we get too involved in saying, I want to be like St. John, or I want to be like St. Francis, or I want to be like St. Ignatius. And it's good to learn from them, but God already made them. God wants to make us who we are, who he wants us to be, that we may share the gift of the life that God gave us with our neighbor, with our brethren, with our friends, and even with those who are not our friends, who probably need us to share our love a lot more. The prophet is already saying that the Lord is going to come. Way back when, Baruch, as we hear the readings, he's telling us that the Lord is going to come, that our salvation is coming. P 
Paul is honoring those who were hospitable with him. Those who served him, who helped him preach the word, share the word, share what God has given him. That the kingdom of God became, be, began to expand as Paul grew in his conversion, in his commitment, as Paul went and served the saints of Corinthians, the saints of Rome, the saints of Thessalonians, the saints of different regions of where the word of God started moving. And as we read the gospel, John the Baptist is doing what God wanted him to do. John the Baptist is that voice that resounds in the desert, preparing the way of the Lord, that we may follow that way, that we may know that as closer and closer we get to our intimate relationship with Christ, the easier the path will be, the mountains will line up with the, with the valleys, the, the roads that are curvy will be straight, and the path will be smooth. That doesn't mean it's going to be real easy. Today we still have to go through the straight, to look for the straight and narrow. But as we grow in our relationship with the Lord, we will be able to walk. And as we walk, we will be able to spread the word with the example, with what we do, with how we help people, with especially how we love our neighbor. That is the prime message that Jesus Christ came to give us. Love thy neighbor. Now, we can't love our neighbor if we don't love God. God gives us the ability to love our neighbor. So we have to have that intimate relationship with the Lord. We have to grow in that relationship with the Lord. That's what Advent is. We're preparing for the coming of the Lord. That the Lord may continue to fill our hearts. May continue to influence our lives. And then... We can say as the psalm today says, the Lord has done great things among us. For that we are full of joy. We have to be full of joy because the Lord has done great things for us. The Lord has done great things among us. Let's enjoy what the Lord has done for us. And let us fill our hearts with joy and enjoy this Advent that we may really have a Merry Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.